On last turn, we have studied how to convert unlike fractions to like fractions. Now today we will study how to compare fractions. If we are having fractions with the same denominator, then it is very simple to compare the two fractions. For example, if I am having 3 by 5 and another rational number 7 by 5, here you can see that the denominator of both the fractions are equal. So, we have to simply compare the numerators. Here you can see that 3 is less than 7. So, 3 by 5 will be less than 7 by 5. In case we are having the same numerator, for example, if I am having a number 5 by 3 and another number 5 by 7. In this, I am having both the numerators same. Here, I will see that which denominator is smaller. Here, 3 is smaller. This fraction will be greater than 5 by 7. Now, in case when the numerator and denominator both are different. For example, if I am having a number for we are have we are studying now for different numerator and denominator now if we are having the number 3 by 4 and 5 by 12 and i have to compare these two these two fractions what i am going to do i will first take out the lcm of 4 and 12 that will be equals to 12 only now I will convert 3 by 4 with a rational number equivalent to the denominator 12. For this what I have to do, I have to multiply 4 by 3 and 3 also by 3. So here I will get 9. So equivalent rational number to 3 by 4 with the denominator 12 is 9 by 12. I have to convert 5 by 12 also with the denominator 12. But here, since it is having already 12, so need no need of converting this, this fraction. Now, you can simply compare between 9 by 12 and 5 by 12, which rational number is greater. Here, 9 by 12 is greater than 5 by 12. So, 9 by 12 uh, was equal to 3 by 4. So, we can say 3 by 4 is gr greater than 5 by 12. Now, well, let us see a question of arranging the fractions in ascending or descending order or I have to find the fraction which is greater. Let me write down the question first. Out of 7 by 15, 1 by 6, 2 by 3, 5 by 6, which fraction is greater than 4 by 15 and less than 7 by 12. Here I have to compare or, we have, or I have to find a rational number which is greater than 4 by 15 and less than 7 by 12. Now first I will convert 4 by 15 and 7 by 12 into like fractions. So to convert these two into like fraction I will have to find the LCM of 15 and 12 that will be equals to 60. Now 5 4 by 15 will be multiplied by 4 numerator and denominator. So we will get 16 upon 60 and 7 by 12 will be multiplied by 5 numerator and denominator both so we will get 35 by 60. Now I will convert 7 by 15 also with the denominator 60 so I will multiply it by 4 it will be equals to 28 by 60. The next number is 1 by 6 so I have to multiply it just by 10 so it will be 10 by 60. Now the next number will be 2 by 3. So I have to multiply 
it by 20. So it will be 40 by 60. The next number is 5 by 6. I have to multiply it by 10 so that the denominator becomes 60. So it will be 50 upon 60. Now I have, uh, it is asked in the question that you have to find a fraction which is greater than 5 by 4 by 15. That is we have to find a rational number which is greater than this and less than 35 by 60. Now I can see that 28 by 60 and 40 by 60 and 50 by 60 are greater than 4 by 15. But I have to find the number less than 35 by 60. So the number less than 35 by 60 is 28 by 60. This number is satisfying both the conditions. So the number which is greater than 4 by 15 and less than 7 by 12 is 7 by 15. So to compare any two, frac any two fraction or more than two fraction, we have to first convert the denominator with, we have to convert the fraction to the like fraction with the same denominator. And then we can easily compare the fractions. Now we will come to the addition and subtraction of the fractions. Now we will study the addition and subtraction of fractions. First we will take the addition of fractions. If we are having two fraction 1 by 5 and 2 by 5 and we have to add them. Since the denominators are same, it is very simple to add them. It will be equals to 1 plus 2 upon 5. What I have done, I have written the same de denominator and I have added the numerators. So it will be equals to 3 by. But if I would be having different denominators, for example, if I have to add 15 by 16 and 11 by 12, First, I have to take out the LCM of 16 and 12. So, LCM of 16 and 12 is 48. Now, to convert 15 by 16 with the denominator 48, I have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3. And to convert 11 by 12 with the denominator 48, I have to multiply it by 4. Now it will be equals to 45 upon 48 plus 44 upon 48. Now the denominators are same. We can simply add the numerators 45 plus 44. So it will be equals to 89 upon 48. Now same thing we have to do in the subtraction only we have to subtract the numbers. If we are given uh, 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 when the denominator are same it is simple you have to write the denominator and simply subtract the numerator it will be equals to 1 by 3 now when the denominators are not same for example I have to subtract 7 by 20 from 11 by 15 so here the denominators are not same so we have to take the LCM so LCM of 15 and 20 will be 60. Now to convert 11 by 15 with the denominator 60, I have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4. So it will be 44 upon 15 and I have to minus the next number is 7 by 20. To convert 20 into 60, I have to multiply it by 3. So I will multiply the numerator and denominator by 3. Here I will get 44 upon 60 minus 21 upon 60. So 40, now the new, uh, denominators are same. So we will write 60, 44 minus 21. So it will be equals to 23 upon 60. Next is multiplication of the fraction. In multiplication of the fraction, if a upon b and c upon d are the two fractions, we will simply multiply the numerator by numerator and the denominator by denominator. So it will be equals to a c or we can write a into c upon b into d. For example, I have to multiply 1 by 3 into 6 by 7. 
So I will simply multiply the numerator with the numerator. That will be 1 into 6 upon 3 into 7. So it will be equals to 3 upon 21. Now there is a number common between 6 and 21. That is 3. I can cancel 6 by 3 2 times and 21 by 3 7 times. So it will be equals to 2 by 7. If I have to multiply 4 by 5 by 12 by 7. Here you can see there is nothing common in the numerator and the denominator. So we have to simply multiply the numerator by the numerator. That will be 4 into 12 will be 48. Then 5 into 7 will be 35. Next if I have to multiply 15 by 16 by 10 by 12. Here you can see that 2 is common in 10 and 16. So I can cancel it by 2 5 times and 16 8 times 15 and 12 can be cancelled by 3 5 times and 4 times so we have to multiply just the numerator it will be 25 upon 32 next is reciprocal of a fraction two fractions are said to be Reciprocal of each other if their product is 1. Uh, the reciprocal of a non zero fraction A upon B is equal to b upon a. You can see if I multiply a upon b by b upon a so b will get cancelled by b one times and a will get cancelled by a one times. So it will be equals to 1 upon 1 that is 1 only. Now if I ask you the reciprocal of 5 by 6. So what we have to do? We have to just reverse this number that is I have to make the numerator as denominator <coughs> And the denominator as numerator. So reciprocal of 5 by 6 will be 6 by 5. Next is division of fractions. Dividing A upon B by C upon D is same as multiplying A upon B by the reciprocal of C by D that is D by C. What we have done? We have done the reciprocal of C by D that is D by C and converted the division sign to the multiplication sign. For example, if I have to multiply, but here you have to remember that C upon D should be a non-zero fraction. Now if I have to divide 1 by 3 by 2 by 5, what I am going to just write 1 by 3 into the reciprocal of 2 by 5 that will be 5 by 2. So it will be equals to 5 by 6. I will take one more example. If I have to divide 3 by 5 by 5 by 9. So it will be equals to 3 by 5 into 9 by 5. Now here I have to multiply 3 and 9 that will be equals to 27. And 5 by 5 that will be equals to 25. Now if I have to divide 15 by 7 by 5 by 14. So it will be equals to 15 by 7 into 14 by 5. So here I can cancel the numerator and numerator by denominator, denominator by numerator. So 7 will get 1 times cancel, 7 by 7, 14 will get 2 times cancel. 5, 1 times and 15, 3 times. So it will be equals to 3 into 2, 6 and 1 into 1 it will be 1. So it will be equals to so it will be equals to six only. On next turn, we will study about the word problems based on fractions.